Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. On today's episode, as you just seen from the title, we're going to be talking consultant. A consultant is a person who provides expert and professional services to their clients. That's like the summary of it. I'll be sharing with you things that if you know you do not like, you shouldn't even consider being a consultant. My name is Stephanie, guys, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. consulting is something I love is something I'm currently doing there are some traits that people that don't like would not be able to survive in it in fact some of these traits I probably even have them but I'm just surviving because the pros outweigh the cons for me and that's why so the first thing I'll say if you do not like to work with people do not consider consulting because guys it is all about teamwork it's all about moving together towards achieving a goal for someone else do you get so there's so many parties involved apart from the stakeholders apart from your colleagues your team there's also people who you're reporting to and then in order to get the best out of these things you have to be working very nicely on every level of ownership or control or leadership it's not even just okay yeah i'm able to work with people you have to like them and then they also have to like you unfortunately i'm going to be comparing this with let's say you try to buy a pair of heels now for any place the heels i don't know you're just not comfortable in them you can't even stand to even because i know sometimes we buy shoes just to take picture you can't even take a picture comfortably in those shoes not talk of wearing them out what would you do to that shoe you will go and drop it look into that place again and see if there's something else you can take that will serve you that will serve the purpose of looking nice looking uh, you know smart beautiful in those shoes and if you don't find you know from that same place you went to return the shoe you go somewhere else so your company is that at those somewhere else's people can't go the clients can't go you are the shoe the clothes god forbid you're not the shoe the clothes i'm just comparing that way so if you're not serving a purpose you get they will return you and want to get someone else and unfortunately your company who is the hire you who you think should have your back would not because these are the people paying them next is if you do not like competition <laughs> Guys, if you don't like competition, leave consulting alone because as I said, everyone is trying to bring out the best. Not that you're trying to put people down, but you're in an environment where anything can happen to anyone and then you're supposed to just be putting your best foot forward. So it's kind of like competition slash a bit of politics. If you don't like stuff like that, um, consulting is not for you. The third point, work-life balance. Luckily for me, this is not a situation where I'm facing now because I've worked as a contract first day doing consulting. I've worked, you know, as a self-employed person. So I've seen other consultants and how they work. And I know there are some places of work. That's why you should be sure of where you're actually going to join. If you know this, you want this not to be an issue for you. Work-life balance doesn't mean anything to them. Like you can literally be waking up, you're seeing a deliverable. And because you know how the environment is that you can easily be tossed and returned, you will want to start going out of your hours to do stuff for your clients or to do stuff for your own firm so work-life balance sometimes is you know you, you is actually a trade for some firms but hopefully the one you find if you find one would not you know trade that for you to be honest there even places that are good you're working with your clients and they're giving you a target towards the end of the target you guys are not meeting it you have to work on the weekends you have to work on the sunday imagine everyone in the team saying we're going to come on saturday to work we're going to come on sunday you're not like a work-life balance children you don't be saying you chicken you look like the day you want to drop someone off it's you things it's so important to you consulting might not be for you my next point number four is personality wise if you have a difficult time saying no to things consulting is not for you because a lot of times as i said you can see the environment is competitive you know everyone is trying to please everyone they can just come to you one day from the middle of nowhere ah oh, there's this new project so we want to take you there that 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 and you know you already had like a sort of a plan okay i want to be on this particular project for this certain time i want to rest after this certain time they're not coming to me you had no oh, you're the best you know sweet mouth now oh, you're so good your profile is so good performance and we want you on this one like according to your plan you're supposed to do this project rest for maybe a month or two weeks or whatever and then someone's already going to put you if you're someone who doesn't know how to strategically say no like look for the best excuse like i'm not the one going to give you that excuse but just find a way to you know just align your actions and your future towards at least the bit fragments of plan you had for it if you're not someone who doesn't know how to say no once they come to you, you're gone. Once they come to you, you're gone. Because sweet mouth is so, so easy. And the way sweet mouth comes in this country, it's not like in your face. It was just, ah, 
you know sugarcoat everything and then for you know you're going against what you had already told your family at home or what you had already told yourself what you had told your vision board so if you're someone who struggles to say no consultancy is not for you people are always willing to test your limits on everything so you should always stand your ground with some things and this standing your ground doesn't mean you'll be rude when you're replying you just be sensible about it you know be diplomatic about your response just knowing that you're not they're not pushing you to where you want to be and the fifth point which is um sort of a good point as well is if you hate writing guys if you hate writing just leave consulting alone because even when you're reaching out to clients every time there's a template there are a lot of times where you have to write in such a way that you know your information is so clear and you know they're able to just respond because you're not the only one like you're probably most consultants work for firms that are so big so those firms they have so many other consultants they have so many other deliveries every department has something else they are looking for they are attending to so your ability to write properly concisely precisely is a very very big one if you have a problem with writing just be consulting alone aside even writing and getting information also report writing if you maybe got into a stage where you're maybe pod leader team leader just a little leader you have to make reports with powerpoint with graphs and everything just explaining you know where the team is at the moment the projections even talking to your subordinates you know even just you just have to know how to write so writing is not your strong suit consulting might not be for you like i said these are the things that you know you must at least four of these things you shouldn't be a problem to you if you want to successfully be a consultant that said consulting is really nice but some of us we've been doing it for a bit now and it's something i love and you know i i i, I don't have any plans on quitting right now i'm enjoying my life as a consultant but then again these are the things you should just be ready to deal with as a consultant hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the thumb up button because it helps the video go round and recommended by youtube drop a comment because i love to read from you please share this video with your friends your families and your enemies follow me on instagram at metro Drift. that's where i create on the go content bye